Bonjour, bonjour, welcome back. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and in this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can avoid people right-clicking on your website and stealing your images. So we're going to do that by adding a little bit of code. I have the green hoodie, so we're going into the code. We're going to do that by adding a little bit of code to your team. No big deal. It's super straightforward. You can click the link down below in the description to have the exact walkthrough and copy paste the pieces of code that I'm going to be copy pasting in my computer right here. And at the very end of the video, I'm also going to explain how effective this is. So you want to stick around to see, because maybe this isn't solving your problem at all. So um, let's start with going straight into the, the code right here. So we are in our online store, as you can see. Let's look at the code. Uh, well, let's look at the store, I mean. And currently, you will see that I can right click and uh, I can basically steal the images. So right here, I can do, um, let's go on the actual product, uh, save image as, and I'm stealing the product image right now. Uh, yes, but we're about to change that. So um, let's go back into the store right here. First and foremost, as we do with every time we jump into the code, we duplicate the uh, theme to make sure that we have a backup in case something goes wrong. And also we never want to be working on the live theme. So um, we're going to do that by doing the right, by click on actions right here, and then we click on duplicate. So the team is duplicated and this is going to take a sec. Okay, so the team is duplicated. It's right here. Again, it's super important that you do this part. I have people who haven't done it and then in the comments, they're like, oh my God, I messed up. Now I'm stuck. Always duplicate your theme. Um, now we're going to work on this one right here. So to do that, we're going to click on actions right here uh, and we're going to click on edit code. It's gonna load up the big scary code editor. Don't, don't, it's, it's really nothing. Once you get used to it, completely nothing. And right here, we're going to look for the theme.liquid file. So the theme.liquid should be right here um, on your left side. So you wanna make sure you click on that one. And then in the documentation that I provided, there is a little piece of code that you will have to uh, paste within this file. So just, I'm going to copy it right here on my other screen, uh, copy, and then I'm going to paste it and you have to paste it within the head tag. So you can see the head tag here, that's the opening of the head tag and probably somewhere down here, you'll have the head tag that closes. So we'll want to add that. Uh, we'll look for the, actually we'll keep it simple, the opening head tag right here. You press enter a couple of times so you create a space and then you right click paste it. So here we go. By the way, this will not work on older versions of Internet Explorer, unfortunately. Uh, that's kind of just how it goes, right? I can't. It's, this will work for Chrome, for Safari, even the new Internet Explorer versions. It will work, just not on the older ones. Once you have added this piece of code, just click on save right here. The asset is saved and then we're going to go back in our online store because it should work like a charm right now. So we're back into the, the store right here. Remember, we made the changes here. You can see it last saved. We didn't work on this one yet. So let's do an actions preview so we can kind of see how this looks. Um, we go to the same product again and I'm right clicking and I'm not able to right click. Let's see here, right clicking. There is nothing happening here. Oh, wait, I also lost my mouse. But there you go. I'm not able to right click so I can't steal the picture anymore. So we see that that works, perfect. We're going to put this theme alive. So we click on action and we click on publish. It's gonna ask us if we're 100% sure we want to be publishing this. The answer is yes, uh, because we tested it and it works. So we publish it, perfect. And then um, it's on the live version right now. So I'll close all of this. 
And now everyone visiting our site will not be able to right click on our site. Perfect. So that is that. There is going to be two more caveats. First of all, um, I'm going to explain whether or not this is useful. And the second element is we're going to do a slight little modification to the code um, just because it it's the right thing to do. So first of all, is this useful? Well, this kind of depends. There is another way. If someone really wants your pictures, there's plenty of other ways to do it. Um, they can pull out the inspect tool. Uh, they can find the URL. If this is a bot that's scraping your picture, so an automatic little robot that's scraping it from a third party website, they can still do it. This is going to block like the amateurs or the people that are looking for quick results to quickly duplicate uh, your image. It's definitely gonna block them. Is it going to be an absolute stop? Is this waterproof? No, absolutely not. There's still ways around that. So that's definitely uh, an advantage. It will deter and possibly stop quite some people. But again, if a bot is scraping you or if someone really wants your pictures, this isn't gonna do much. And so a second thing I like to do is to kind of clean it up. Right now, we just slapped it into the code. Um, like if someone walks in here and doesn't know what it is it might take them a little second to kind of figure it out so i like to indent it so that it's properly made um, just to kind of follow the, the coding procedures so uh, like this and then i like to add a little comment in there so that everyone knows um, if i get hit by a bus tomorrow people know what it is start of code to disable the right right clicking uh, like that and then here I do end of code to disable the right clicking and like that and so this way it's pretty clear if another developer has to walk into here they can clearly see oh they scroll through and they say, what is the script right here? Oh, it's a start of code to disable the right clicking. Oh, I see. Well, I don't need it. I want to change it or this or that. So this is just to kind of keep your code clean. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you uh, learned something out of it. I hope it works for you. Remember to like and subscribe if it had any value to you because I'm trying to teach everything I know about Shopify about like eight years plus on the Shopify uh, network to you, to my YouTube viewers. So it would mean a huge deal for me if you subscribe. Whenever I have the green hoodie, we're doing some coding. So um, check that out. Check out the app reviews. Check out the general strategies videos, whatever floats your your boat and also make sure to test your Shopify store speed at testmystorespeed.com. All right, thanks a lot and I'll see you in another video. Ciao.